Hi guys, welcome back. So today we'll be doing another video, another review, and this time it's a very uh, unique car, uh, very iconic car, and one of its kind. And was one of at, at that time it was the record-breaking car in speed and everything. And yeah, it's a middle seat driver. You can guess by now, it's the McLaren F1. And this one is from AutoArt and it's in black color and very well detailed model this uh, uh, one is from AutoArt. And as the car is rare these days, the AutoArt model is rare as well and they are very hard to find and if you really get a chance to grab one they are very high in the price as the actual car like the actual car it's very much higher in price so the higher the actual car is the good model makers limited ones are higher as well so it's a good investment so yeah so yeah let's go towards the model and have a quick look and have a good review on it and share your opinions on the model Yeah, McLaren F1, one of its kind, huh? very unique shape and very advanced looking shape, I can say it's a one of its kind model. It's a middle seat person, I mean this driving seat and the steering and everything is in the middle, as you guys know very well for the F1. So this one is from AutoArt and you can see the quality, I mean I don't have to say any words but AutoArt always do amazing things. At that time I mean, when this model was out from AutoArt it was a signature model. So the signature models you guys know from AutoArt were very well detailed and they were a little pricey as well and this one is one of them. And this is well detailed as well as you can see the lights as well in the front. They are very well made and the plastic on this as well, even the side indicators and the parking lights, they are all well made, even the grill over here, the air intakes on both ends are very unique, even the look is amazing on this model uh, and uh, you can see how wide the windscreen is on this model and it has one wiper for the windscreen and it's a very big windscreen I mean looking at this model I mean it's a 118 I mean comparing it with the original car it will be a big difference and then yeah the wheels you can see there is silver wheels with gold brick calipers even the center lock is in the gold color actually this original car do contain some gold parts in the engine but this one is a replica so it does not but they have replicated it very well and the aerodynamics on this model are amazing it, the actual car goes 0 to 60 in 3.1 second i think and it was a record breaking at it times when it came out early 90s i think yeah it came out in early 90s so it was a very record breaking car i mean top speed was developed by this car and the for the cooling and everything I mean you can see there are vents over here as well in the to keep the downforce on this car and there is a scoop over here on the top to give the air to the engine bay so to keep it cool and here as well you can see the vents to get the air flow from here from the wheels and they just keep the aerodynamics well on this car <coughs> and <coughs> moving further the wheels are well made and you can see the gold chrome I mean gold paint on them on the brake calipers which is very accurately done on this car moving towards the back you can see there is a grill in the center there is a McLaren number plate where you can put your 
where comes the original number plate and then the F1 logo over here, F1, F1 McLaren and the exhaust tapes as well and you can see it has a diffuser as well yeah and the quality of the back brake lights and the side indicator is quite amazing as you can see they are very well replicated to the original one and over here you can see the glass to view the engine though you cannot view it because the scoop is coming all the way there and giving it an airflow and there is a grill over here which takes the air out probably yeah and it comes from here as well this is a grill as well over here at the back and this car is so compact I mean there is no space for any extra stuff to be put on so yeah let's move towards the trunk which is just a thing with components a battery F1 battery and all the noises and everything is there placed it's a very tiny little place where they have managed to put so many components in it yeah. even the front logo of McLaren is quite well made on this model yeah so moving further let me let me uh, show you first that there is a Barring kind of thing, this is in an original car over here to unlock the doors, but this one does not do any kind of thing, so you just have to pull it up. The doors are quite heavy on this car, so and there it is. That one, the steering in the middle, and you have two seats on the side, both sides one seat for the passengers company you while you are driving the car and the com mm, quality is quite good on this it's in a gray and black mixture but the center seat is in orange color as you can see a little bit sneak peek let me show you from the front it's in orange and black so it's a bit in different color which is quite good and there is a McLaren logo over here as well let me show you from the other side as well how it works there you are there it is let me give you a closer look <coughs> so it, the foot rest is all carpety, carpeted type of a textured material used like all in signature auto art models and you can really see behind I mean you know, the camera is not showing but you can see the pedals and everything and the gear knob is in there next to the steering so yeah it's quite amazing I did had a chance of look uh, sitting in one of this McLaren in London years back I mean it was years back and I got a chance to sit in it so it was amazing I mean that was a in the McLaren showroom in Marble Arch but it, it's an amazing car so yeah and one more secret compartments in this McLaren are where you can keep your luggage is this and they, these are magnetic I mean they just stand there which is a good thing and you can see there is your luggage over there bags and everything I don't want to change I mean take them out or something like that because it will be quite hard I never bother to touch these kind of things and looking at the inside I mean this panel it has a carbon fiber effect on it and you can see there are small uh, shocks over here to keep it hold I mean look at the quality and detailed work auto art has put on this and it, the same thing is on the other side as well yeah 
Yeah, it's all carbon fiber effect on this panel. This whole body is of carbon fiber, I mean, in original car, but this is die cast. So you can see the package, they are movable, but I don't want to move them. So yeah. And these are the small magnets over here, which hold this panel while you close it. So the glass quality is quite good and it's an amazing model to have and very rare as well so let me close this first then the doors will come down and now we'll move towards the engine bay which is a very tricky part to open because it's there you are this is the engine bay and you can see the gold texture underneath the hood which is quite amazing and there is a shock over here but this shock is not keeping it because it's quite heavy so though it's plastic but still it's quite heavy so yeah this is the engine sitting there McLaren you can see the logos and everything over there and these are the um, you can see the way they have put the silver in it to protect the cockpit in front and uh, from heat or fire or anything and these are the two scoops coming from the front for the air and you can see the carbon fiber texture on it it's all carbon fiber and oh, luckily I, no I didn't Let me open the small component where the amazing thing is happening. So you can see over here the exhaust and everything is there and all in gold color. Yeah. It's all in gold color. In actual car it's I think real gold what I've heard but I don't know. If I'm not wrong, uh, if I'm wrong correct me please. So yeah, this is it. And looking from the underneath of this model, it's all packed up. Just you can see the lines of the diffuser at the back and that's it. And the tires, you can see the variant. The back ones are big and the small ones are, front ones are small. So yeah. Yeah, quite good detailed model this one is. As auto art always do a great job in making these models. They don't make it, they don't make such kind of models anymore, but still, it's a good model. As you can see, the half of the roof comes up with the door, so it's quite easy for the passenger to ski, I mean, get in in the middle, the driver actually, the, which is the difficult part in getting in this car, because it's in the center, so it's quite difficult manage to sit in the center so maybe that is the reason they have put half of the roof in the door on both sides it's in Enzo as well yeah <coughs> Ferrari Enzo Enzo Ferrari you can see this as well so yeah guys <coughs> this is the model from Auto Art in black color excellent model really love it and Hope you guys enjoyed the review, review of this video, of this model. So till the next time, please do kick, take care and see you soon. Take care. Bye.